That's what these babies look like. LA. Sparta Luca Roaster, I guess. I'm gonna wait for Momo to uh, do its business. And then we'll continue. Our Momo Zones is uh, business. So, I'm gonna try to follow a recipe here. And I'm gonna use the AeroPress. This little bunny right here. So I need 30 grams of coffee. So right now it's showing 30.2 on the scale. Get all the air out. No, I'm gonna just put it in here. You know, I already have coffee inside. It's an airlock. Airlock everything. 30.2. Let's go ahead. Descent. So close. I think I have it set to 3.8. So what I found out is, or what I have found is that <clears throat> with the quinoa, if you're grinding coffees that are like light roasted, medium to light, medium dark, it gets a little slippery. I'm going to have to go get one of those grips. So as you can see, I'm kind of slipping because there's a lot of, I guess, traction. I'm like taking a break. That worked pretty well. So maybe it actually works better if you're left handed. Because here I'm able to actually get a good grip with my index finger. Or maybe even with both my index and my middle finger. And I can just go like that. So maybe that's the way. Anyways, I have grounded my coffee. I promise the towel is a little too big and I have to fold it in. It's kind of uneven here, so hopefully I don't make a mess. that little thing there. This is what it looks like. 
So far, so good. And that's what that looks like. So, the thing with the recipe, sometimes they don't really tell you what kind of coffee they're using. And they don't really like that. So here, I'm actually going to do a little preheat. I'm going to preheat this. This is going to be off, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in this little puppy here. But everything has to be on the scale. So it's telling me to put 100 grams of water into the coffee for 10 seconds. I have to stir for Stir firmly 20 times in 10 seconds. I'm just going to stir. Okay. So 40 seconds. Put this puppy on. And then 100 grams of water to Drink the coffee, da 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 So... Oh, I only use a hundred. And then afterwards I add a hundred grams of water. Okay. Put that on. That's 100, 10 seconds. next. Put that in there. Forty seconds. Put the arrow press and press out all the coffee. shit on my hands. It really does. Okay. 
this is going to be tired. here. It's very, very, very sweet. It's still a little bit too hot to drink. But so far, a really good cup of coffee. It tastes a little bit of acidity which is okay. I'm really looking for a smooth flavor here. I don't even know what I mean by that. There's a little bitterness to it, but I think I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, cleaning this pretty simple. Top that off. Just put it in there, and I'm left with this little puck here. And all that is coffee. I think as as it gets as the temperature is getting lower, you definitely taste more of the flavors. When it was like blistering hot off the kettle, um, a lot of the flavors were very muted, and I read that it does have some sort of cherry flavor. Is that right, cherry? There's like hints of it. So that's the one. Okay. Medium cherry. Watermelon cherry syrup. Watermelon. Chocolate covered walnut finish. <laughs> walnut? Okay, I don't know. I don't really remember. So what I found out was as as I let the coffee cool, the flavors start to come out. When it's piping hot, like what I'm trying to do here is um, not only does it burn the tip of my tongue, I'm really getting muted flavors. Uh, once I let it cool, I start to taste everything. I think I almost tasted watermelon or what f I think tastes like watermelon. Um, didn't really... Oh, and there's a little bit of that chocolate flavor, but once it gets kind of lukewarm, room temperature-ish... Um, it just tasted really, really bad. I think the acidity started to really spike at that point. Um, but yeah, I'll end it here.